Welcome again to Mr. Chen's teaching. Today we will be looking at the 2019 Agricultural Science Pass paper, paper 1. Without further ado, let us get into the questions. Question number 1. A farmer who does not use pesticides or chemical fertilizer is most likely practicing A. Crop farming, B. Mixed farming, C. Organic farming, D. Continuous farming. The answer is C. Organic farming. Question number 2. Biodiversity refers to the A. Impact of humans on a given habitat. B. Differences in the individuals within each species. C. Different species of organisms and variety of habitats in which they live. D. Different habitat in which animals lives the answer is C different species of organisms and the variety of habitats in which they live remember biodiversity bio means living diversity means different meaning different living things question number three which institution has the following objectives one to facilitate trade between member countries two to develop a common trade policy three to act as a bargaining body when negotiating the outside forces a Caribbean community B Caribbean development bank C Caribbean Public Health Agency D Caribbean Research and Development Institute The answer is A Caribbean Community or which is referred to as CARICOM Question number 4 An agronomist is a person who specializes in the study of the A Management of animals B Control and use of insects C Growth of ornamental plants D Growth and management of crops The answer is D Growth and management of crops Once it is speaking about the growth of crops in general then it's agronomy Question number 5 Which of the following constraints to agriculture is remedied to a large extent by the farmer a lack of infrastructure b trade barrier c land tenure d topography the answer is c land tenure land tenure really means the ownership of land by these farmers or they get land to farm etc the land tenureship out of this category is controlled by the farmer question number six which of the following is not considered a factor of production a land b capital c marketing d management the answer is c marketing the missing one is labor question number seven the growing of crops in a liquid nutrient medium is known as a hydroponics b throat culture c organic farming d subsistent farming the answer is a hydroponics Question number 8. Item 8 refers to the following table which shows the demand, supply and price of tomato in a country. Based on the information in the table, the equilibrium price of tomato is A. $1 B. $1.50 C. $2 D. $2.50 The answer is C. $2 When you have an equi equilibrium price, it means that the buyer and the seller will agree on the same amount that is supplied or and purchased at the same price. So it means demand normally equals supply in an equilibrium price. Question number 9. Let Legumes are especially important in organic crop farming because they a are easy to cultivate b provide a good coverage c promote nitrogen fixation d have a high market demand the answer is c promote nitrogen fixation question number 10 which of the following is not a fixed cost a fuel b tax c machinery d depreciation the answer is a fuel question number 11 which of the following can be done to speed up the breakdown of organic matter in a compost if a gather dead plants and animals faster b add water to the compost when it is dry c light a fire on top of the heap to create more heat d allow a long time to pass before applying another layer of compost the answer is b add water to the compost when it is dry question number 12 item 12 refers to the following graph of a demand and supply curve during lent people demand more fish than any other meat this is represented by a shift from a d1 to d b d to d1 c s1 to s d e1 to e the answer is B, D to D1. Question number 13. Which of the following is a feature of a cooperative? A, each member has one vote. B, non-members have one vote. C, members cannot obtain a loan. D, members with more shares vote more than one. The answer is A, each member has one vote. Question number 14. Item 14 refers to the following graphs. From which of the graphs above can the equilibrium price of a product be determined? The answer is C. That is the point where demand and supply curve intersect each other. Question number 15. Which of the following records? is designed to give information on the yield of yams a production b inventory c financial d labor the answer is a production question number 16 which of the following groups of requirements is essential for a banker to consider in processing a loan application from a farmer a collateral project proposal knowledge of consumers spouse b character references project proposal credit history c credit history character references collateral d collateral project proposal credit history the answer is d collateral project proposal and credit history question number 17 a farmer intends to expand his poultry farm which of the following budgets will he prepare a partial b complete c whole farm d 
gross margin the answer is a partial budget question number 18 item 18 to 19 refers to the following economic terms a net profit b gross margin c fixed expenses d gross farm income match each item below with one of the options above an option may be used once more than once or not at all number 18 total income the answer is d gross farm income question number 19 total income minus total expense the answer is a net profit question number 20 item 20 refers to the following information the yield and average price per kilogram of four crops are given in the table below based on gross returns only which is the most profitable crop for the farmer to plant a lettuce b tomato c cabbage d cauliflower the answer is d cauliflower gross return means that the returns are income received before expenses are deducted question number 21 a soil sample was collected from a school farm and found to be very high in potential hydrogen this indicates that this soil most likely a as a high calcium content b is alkaline c is neutral d is acidic the answer is d is acidic question number 22 a bag of mixed fertilizer is labeled 7 14 21 what is the ratio of nitrogen to phosphorus in this fertilizer a 1 to 2 b 3 to 1 c 2 to 3 d 3 2 the answer is a 1 to 2 so you first would simplify the ratio so you'd use the lowest common factor which is 7 7 itself 1 7 to 14 2 7 into 21 3 so it is a 1 to 2 ratio Question number 23. Which of the following is not a physical property of the soil? A. pH. B. Texture. C. Structure. D. Capillarity. The answer is A. pH. Question number 4. Farmer Zara observes the premature falling of buds into her tomato crop. Which of the following fertilizer would, would most likely correct this problem? A. Urea. B. Calcium nitrate. C. Murate of potash. D. Sulfate of ammonia. The answer is C. Murate of potash. When young buds are falling off, it means that the plants are lacking in potassium. Now, the fertilizer that will that contains potassium is the mu rate of potash question number 25 which of the following should be recommended to a farmer cultivating a parcel of land that floods in rainy season one construct deep drains two plant and eye beds three plant crops without preparing the land a one only b one and two only c two and three only d one two and three the answer is b one and two only of course when you prepare drains and beds you're actually preparing the land question number 26 the atmospheric gas being utilized in the manufacture of food by plants is a oxygen b nitrogen c hydrogen d carbon dioxide the answer is d carbon dioxide question number 27 which of the following will not take place in the air if the air temperature rises above 30 degrees celsius a increase evaporation b increased rate of transpiration in plants c increased drying out of the surface soil d increased risk of fungal diseases in plants the answer is d increased risk of fungal diseases in plants question number 28 the transfer of pollen grains from the anther of one plant to the stigma of another plant of the same species of the same or closely related species is known as a self-pollination b cross-pollination c wind pollination d insect pollination the answer is b cross-pollination once there are two plants then that's cross-pollination question number 29 the process by which plants lose water in the form of vapor to the air is called a absorption b respiration c transpiration d translocation the answer is c transpiration question number 30 altering an organism by inserting deleting or changing specific Specific species of its DNA is normally done to improve food production. This process is called A. Cloning B. Mutation C. Tissue culture D. Genetic engineering. The answer is D. Genetic engineering. Once you're altering the DNA, it's genetic engineering. Question number 31. Farmer Derek has a farm on 20 hectares of land. He cultivates vegetables and irrigates his crops with water from a pond in which he rears tilapia and ducks. This practice is called A. Mixed farming B. Mixed cropping C. The plantation system D. The monoculture system the answer is a mixed farming when you're dealing with plants and animals on the same farm that's mixed farming when you're dealing with different crops on the same farm that is mixed cropping question number 32 farmer does as an excess of pesticides after spraying his crop the best way for him to take care of, of the pesticide is to a throw it away at another location b pour it into a container and burn it c store in the sprayer for future use d store it in a labeled container for future use of course the best answer there would be d store in a labeled container for future 
future use. Question number 33. Which of the following are true for mitosis? One, new plants have a different growth habit from parent plants. Two, characteristics of the species are the same. Three, species chromosome number is the same. A, one and two only B, one and three only C, two and three only D, one, two and three. The answer is C, two and three only. Mitosis is the identity split of a cell. Question number 34. A tall pigeon pea plant with the genotype heterozygous is crossed with a dwarf pigeon pea plant with genotype purebred recessive. What is the possible phenotype of the offsprings? A. Three quarter tall plants to quarter short plants. B. Half tall plants to half short plants. C. All short plants. D. All tall plants. The answer is B. Half tall plants to half short plants. Question number 35. A selective herbicide is one which A. Destroys all types of weeds. B. Destroy the chlorophyll in leaves. C. Is applied to weeds that have grown. D. Kills some plants but has no effect on others. The answer is D. Kills some plants but has no effect on others. Question number 36. The use of living organisms to control weeds is a practice known as A. Cultural control. B. Chemical control. C. Biological control. D. Mechanical control. The answer is C. Biological control. Question number 37. In the agricultural sector, quarantine usually results in A. An increase in the quantity of produce due to useful pests. B. A reduction in the quality of produce due to pests and diseases. C. The production and spread of disease causing organisms from one place to another. D. The prevention and control of the spread of disease causing organisms from one place to another. The answer is D. The prevention and control of the spread of disease causing organisms from one place to another. Question number 38. The, se the correct sequence of steps followed in cleaning and maintaining tool is A. Sharpening, washing, oil and then dry. B. Oil, wash, sharpen and dry. C. Wash, oil, dry and sharpen. D. Wash, dry, sharpen and oil. The answer is D. Wash, dry, sharpen and oil. Question number 39. Which of the following are advantages of processing at peppers? 1. Allow the farmer to maximize profits. 2. Reduces the incident of post-harvest diseases. 3. Prolongs the storage life of the produce. A. 1 and 2 only. B. 1 and 3 only. C. 2 and 3 only. D. 1, 2 and 3. The answer is D. 1, 2 and 3. Question number 40. The technique which can be used to remove the water content of a crop is A. Drying. B. Freezing. C. Preserving. D. Fermenting. The answer is A. Drying. Question number 41. Item 41 to 42 refers to the following diagram showing parts of the digestive tract of poultry. Question number 41. The function of the part labeled 2 is to A. Grind food. B. Store food. C. Secrete gastric juices. D. Facilitate regurgitation. The answer is B. Store food. Of course, the item in 2 is the crop. Question number 42. Which of the parts labeled 1, 2, 3, 4 is the proventriculus? A. 1, B, 2, C, 3, D, 4. The answer is C. 3. Question number 43. Fish meal in an animal ration is a rich source of A. Fats. B. Protein. C. Vitamins. D. Carbohydrates. The answer is B protein. Question number 44. How much space per bird is required for rearing broilers in the depleter system? A. 0 0.09 square meter. B. 1 square meter. C. 9 square meter. D. 10 square meter. The answer is A. 0 0.09 meter square. The required space is 1 square foot. Now 1 meter is 3 feet. 0 0.09 meter square. When that is converted to square foot, you will get 0 0.968 square foot. Now when you round that off, you will get 1 square foot. Question number 45. Item 45 refers to the following diagram of an egg. Which two parts of the egg are rich in protein? A. 1 and 3 only. B. 1 and 4 only. C. 2 and 3 only. D. 2 and 4 only. The answer is A. 1 and 3 only. Of course, the albumin, which is egg white, has protein, but the yolk also has good amount of protein as well. Question number 46. Legumes are planted in a pasture mainly to A. Provide variety for animals. B. Increase carbohydrate content. C. Provide extra vitamins and minerals. D. Increase the protein content of a diet. The answer is D. Increase the protein content of a diet. Question number 47. A rabbit farmer adds double the recommended dosage of antibiotics to the drinking water of his rabbits. He is advised that this practice is wrong mainly because it may endanger the farm workers. B. Reduce the growth rate of the rabbits. C. Endanger the health of consumers. D. Lead to low mortality rate among his rabbits. The answer is C. Endanger the health. Of consumers. Question number 48. Which of the following occurs during the oestrus cycle? A. Gestation. B. Ovulation. C. Parturition. D. Fertilization. The answer is B. Ovulation. Of course, ovulation is the release of an egg from the ovary. Uh, when the animals come and eat, they are ready to accept the meal. So what happened? The body is releasing egg that needs to be fertilized. Question number 49. Which of the following demonstrate a good rotational grazing system? 1. Undergrazing is done to conserve fodder. 2. Animals are placed in paddocks for 4 to 6 days. 
is three milking animals are grazed first followed by dry and non-productive cows a one and two only b one and three only c two and three only d one two and three the answer is a one and two only as one of the benefits of a rotational system is to always conserve your fodder and so to reduce the transfer of pests or build up of pests and diseases so you wouldn't want to put your animals right after the other shadow because you don't want pests and parasites to be transferred from one set of animals to the next question number 50 which of the following would give a farmer precise information on the effectiveness of feed given to broilers a stage of maturity of birds b commercial ration labor c feed conversion ratio d health of the birds the answer is c feed conversion ratio and that is the amount of feed that is used to produce one kilogram of body weight of animals question number 51 broilers are slaughtered at six weeks old the most suitable ration for a five week old broiler is a millet b starter c grower d finisher the answer is d finisher the finisher of course would have more fat content than protein content in it when the animals are growing you'd have a diet of protein but they are about reaching the finishing the slaughtering stage so the finisher is more suitable question number 52 during the actual process of artificial insemination which of the following is not used a bull b glove c sperm d syringe the answer is a bull question number 53 concrete floors in pig pens are gently sloping to a prevent feed spillage b facilitate easy cleaning c prevent animals from slipping d encourage animals to move around the answer is b facilitate easy cleaning question number 54 two diseases affecting rabbits are a mastitis and polarum b coccidiosis and snuffles c bronchitis and brucellosis d coccidiosis and newcastle disease the answer is b coccidiosis and snuffles question number 55 the beacon is done in layers mainly to one reduce the occurrence of cannibalism two improve the dressing percentage three improve carcass quality a one only b one and two only c one and three only d one two and three the answer is a one only question number 56 broiler birds with signs of blister on the face legs and other body parts are most likely infected with a marex b full cholera c full pox disease d gambora disease the answer is c full pox disease Question number 57. Bees are of economic importance to a citrus farmer because they a test fruit for ripeness, b prevent prairie alerts in the sea, increase fruit production, d biological control pests. The answer is c increase fruit production. Question number 58. The function of a drone in a hive is to a forage for nectar and pollen, b mate with the queen, c protect the hive d produce only the answer is b mate with the queen the drone is, is the male b his only function is to mate with the queen he has no other function in the hive question number 59 and which at which stage of growth is it most appropriate to feed layers with laying ration a two to three months b less than one month c three to four months d five months and over the answer is d five months and over question number 60 a live farmer uses a livestock farmer uses the formula total kilogram of feed eaten over total kilogram of live weight gain times 100 to calculate a l c r b a l c r b f c r c g a p d g m p the answer is b f c r which is feed conversion ratio